Hi guys, thanks for checking out the video. I'm here today at uh, East Devon Golf Club. Uh, we've come out to, well we're going to start here on the sixth hole, par 5, 528 holes. I'm going to be taking on my good friend Max Burrow. Hi Max. Hello guys. Max, is uh, he plays his golf out in Dubai now. He's, uh, he's very good so hopefully he won't beat me by too many. Left. Yep, pretty strong. Made a nine down here, Max, last time I played it. Well, let's have to sit again then. <laughs> it's in the past, though. Did not see that one bit. Yeah, it should be good. Just down, just down the right. Kicked a bit right, but it's uh, it's good. So Max was, I'm not sure if he currently is, but you had the... No, I was the last handicapped amateur in the Middle East for a period. Yeah. Which was crazy, because it was a ridiculous handicap of plus four. So that, uh, uh, it's, it's not been happening recently. <laughs> <laughs> put it that way, so it's back to yeah. plus one. Yeah, so put your comments below if uh, the buzzman has any chance. Yeah, nice. Similar line, just down the right. Yeah, just shifting a bit. Good. It's big bounces you get, aren't they? Yeah, not, not in Dubai anymore. They don't water like they do over there. I can't quite pick up the flag, but that's 239, but I think that's right. Isn't it? Uh, that sounds about right. 239. What are you thinking? I don't know, it's, it's going to be impossible to stop it, isn't it? Downwind a little bit off the left. Yeah, it almost says that. There's that, like, the snake pit, I think the members call it, in here. I think any other day of the week, I'd, uh, I'd probably hit a, a wood down there, but in reality, you can probably, in, probably hit a four iron and get away with it. Yeah, good for it. You've got the angle, so you haven't got... Like, if you had to carry that stuff on the left, it's a bit different, but... I'm, you know, I think it's probably even a five iron down there, actually. I just don't think it's going to stop. Well, it's one of these as well, with the pin being right at the back. I mean, your yardage to the middle is actually very doable, isn't it? It becomes like 215. You've only got to hit it 200 to the front. Yeah, just cut a little. Still rolling, isn't it? Yeah. Stop. No, good shot. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I've just hit a par five in two. That's the, that's the first time in the world, that is. <laughs> so I got 207. I haven't quite got as good as you had quite a nice, like it was almost like a flurry line, wasn't it? Mine yeah, it, could, could, it, could, it definitely could have flown if it wanted to, but I mean, it's a bit. You see there, it's all kind of, it's a bit tangly, this rough. It's not particularly long, but it's just, it's just sat down. And if you can see... 200 to the front, which would be five if I was flying it. It's like a six or a seven, isn't it? I think you could probably get there with an eight iron, actually. And it would, it would roll out, yeah. It's slightly downwind. And it's, I mean, the bounce is going to be, it's very dry, so it's, it's, it's hard as well underfoot. I'm introducing you to the world, so they're going to find out you're already playing mind games. <laughs> just chip one out with a long way to no, it's, gonna, it's not spinning out this way. So it's just landing on the front there. And it is rolling out. I've seen you make nine from there before. <laughs> it could be it could be another left handed shot for the buzzman. That's a shame. Yeah, seven I would have been in that but I think it's just gone over the back. So hopefully. Well <laughs> bugger. So having rolled off the back of the green, Steve has uh, very fortunately come up just short of the, the bushes at the back where he found his downfall in the video you might have seen with Mark Crossfield. But he's got a tricky tricky right, shot back. here. It's up a, probably about a four foot elevation onto the green. The putting surface is relatively flat. But it's a tough one to get up there and stop it unless he, unless he hits it very, very high. See what we can do. Oh, 
So it's not a bad shot. It's a, that nice, though. It's a tough shot to real, play. Real firm at the minute, aren't they? No, they're very, very firm, yeah. This is going to be very much like the British Open next week. Kind of shows you like how important carry distance is. Because it's it looks like I've just like been a he-man and hit an eight iron about 230 yards when it's all about the carry. It needed to land back there because it's it, it's going to roll, and you could see how quick that was rolling down there. But back to the golf. <laughs> Got an eagle putt slightly downhill, slightly off the right. Uh, no, I'd say it's off the left, if anything. Yeah. It's, it's marginal. There's not a lot in it. <laughs> well, don't ask me. Don't ask me. What do I know? The eagle. Go on, you continue. That's the, that's the, probably the least positive putt in the world. It's my presence that does it. Yeah, I know. Oh, he's missed the fire. I didn't have that one. I wasn't expecting this one for the win. No, nor was I actually either. To be honest with you, <laughs> from about seven feet. And Stephen's also got the, the putting yips as well. <laughs> and they can have that. This hole, that 468 yards. It's a it's downhill though, downwind, so like a runway down there isn't it if you the, the rough tends to be quite thick so if you if you yeah miss i'm it, not too sure if i can quite show you down there but um it is straight down the hill and it's although it is 468 yards it only plays about a driver and a wedge get it that mcelroy can we well <laughs> yeah and that is a How bit it's a bit right, but it's okay. Obviously, you can't see from here, but there are some bushes on the right-hand side. But he should be left of that. Yeah, he should be fine. It's just missing the fairway. What's disappointing? So you do lose like hundred yards. Is that actually over the marker, Steve, or is it? No, so you can see the hut in the distance? Yeah. That's the line. I don't know if I can show you the hut. Yeah, that's the line. Yeah, good. Very good. See, that should catch the fairway. And... Yeah, a bit left of the hut, but it's Yeah, okay. no, I think that's good. I think that's great. very good. Great, great, great. So... Down for the second shots now. As we uh, as we hypothesise, Steve has just <laughs> missed the bushes on the right hand side. Still but got he's a got bit a trouble. bit of a tricky shot here. You can probably just see he's <laughs> there's a tree about 10 feet in front of him, which is about 15 feet high, and uh, he should be no problem to get over it. But he's going to have to probably hit a bit of a flop, Steve. You reckon? Yeah, play a little. I'm going to play a little to the left as well. I think if I clip the top, it will work out okay. Look at yours, you've been catching you the fairway. You're not going to... What's that? For? Where's it gone? I lost it there. Yeah, it's in the middle there. Now it's, uh, that's 400 yards, I see that is. <laughs> you are the man. So he's, he's hit it so hard over the top. Go. It's flying. Oh, it's... I'm it was my only option. So just on the upslope there at the front. You're going to have a birdie chance, so I'm going to have to well, work, the, work hard and make a par. After the last putting display. <laughs> yeah, so Max, you got, what was it, 68? 68, so. 400, 400 yard, yard drive. Bang on, yeah. Who needs the gorilla? Beat that G-rilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, it's come, come down this slope. It really shows the importance of um, hitting this fairway. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's actually, a, it's, it's, it's only 68 yards. It's a tricky shot because... The elevation on the front of the green there 
I'm going to have to land it either short and bounce it up or I'm going to have to land it on and try and stop it, but to get it to stop downwind and... Uh, so you're going low? On a hard, well, I've not got the club for that, so... Yeah. You I'm saw like, what happened to mine as well. It, if it dies, you end up being where I am. I think I'll just try and play a slightly open club face and try and, uh, yeah. try and catch it nicely, land on the front and then kind of see if it stops. I mean, it, it could, alternatively, it could go over the back still, so we'll see. Go on, I'll just go for it. I have faith. It's just, it's just tricky, isn't it? Lynx golf. Yeah, it's a horrible shot, actually. <laughs> He's still filming me. He's better get the hole. So, Steve, just on the upslope here at the front on the green. Um, slight uphill, uphill slope on the green he's playing into. Shouldn't really cause too much trouble, but I'm seeing his chipping. It's just, he hasn't quite got the right line on it, so it's just stayed, stayed, stayed low, but it's also quite short there. Rubbish. Well, yeah, in reality, it's a, it's a very poor shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not too sure if this guy is a pro. He's a good friend, but he's not a good pro, is he? <laughs> so you're probably hearing the... It's still quite windy up here. So I know Max wasn't overly happy with his shot, but still got an outside birdie chance. I'd rather be there than where I am. Yep. You can have it if that's any consolation. I, I, I honestly thought these greens were quite quick today, but they're just they're not quite pace. So Steve, thank you very much. after his, uh, what I can even describe as a poor, poor chip, left himself for about eight or nine feet for uh, passing. See if we can get that whole something count to one. Oh, and there it is. There it is. Who needs the, the chip? buzz man? Who needs the chip when you can putt? I love putting. And I love this putt. What a lot. So this is a great green here. Three tiers. We're in the middle one today. About 150 yards, 145. It's actually 135 to the pin though. Oh, I think we yeah, measured so it, yeah. It's a real good example of how you need to know your carry distances because if you, if you get it slightly wrong, all sorts of trouble. I'm going with A time. Just a smooth one. Just try and keep it out of that wind. Just a fraction. That's a great strike, Steve. That's all over the pin. Oh, it's on the bottom tier, though. Sorry about the zoom, though. <laughs> tricky. Tricky, but right down the flag. There's a bit of work there. I hit eight, just a smooth one. I'm going to hit it well. You can probably, again, you can probably hear yeah, this yeah, wind. Yeah, Max, uh, been playing in Dubai, doing, we've been chatting, haven't we? And we see how sort of these, when these Americans come over to play the British Open, why they struggle. Because it's just such a different requirement, isn't it? I used to be good at this shot. Well, it is, I mean, it is a different requirement, yeah. It's, uh, it's, I'm surprised how high I'm hitting it, actually, at the moment. catching the green. Is it correct here? Just on the left? That's okay. I'd, ra I'd rather be there. So Steve faced with a... Uh, well, I'll leave the pin in I think, this one. He's probably got about four feet up the slope, I would have thought, down the tier. As you were saying, another slope back here, you can't quite see it so well. And a pin position at the back you can often have, which is quite tricky as well. What's the um what's it for line do you think? Right next to probably yesterday's pin, bit of a shame. It's always the way, isn't it?
actually a very good putt. Maybe tides have turned for the buzzman here when it's putting. You can have that, Steve. Well done. Gods have changed their mind. Max must have got about 30 feet, but he's on the correct level, so it's pretty good. Pretty good tee shot. Disappointed that I dragged it, to be honest with you, Steve. But it's, uh, it's better to be on the same tier. However, let's see. Got to do there. Tap it in. Tap it in there. Yeah. You can have it if you want. I got, I got a friend who gives me plenty of these, mate. <laughs> That's straight up the hill. You won't miss that. Given in my head. Yeah. Good. Good one. Good par. Good mate.